This is the beginning of Autism Awareness Month and Social News Network wanted to kick the month off but we wanted to do something for our families while raising awareness for autism. So we started this team and we're so excited. We had 50 uh, parents and kids and advocates come out. Some did the 5K, some did the 10K, and several of us did the half marathon. Let's give it up for Coach Antonio! And we are walking to kick off Autism Awareness Month. So we're out here for our kids, we're out here for our families, and we're out here for us. So everyone just give yourselves a big round of applause. We're gonna do this. and we're going to say kids with autism in South Los Angeles matter. We're going to say kids who are fighting obesity matter. And we're going to say families in South Los Angeles. We do it big. We do it really, really big. So everyone. We're excited. We've been training for three months. This is our first year out here running autism. Half 50 members of our team, families and kids. Autism Awareness Month, and for the first time, there's an opportunity to run for autism as part of the Hollywood Half Marathon, and it was important to me to participate, to raise awareness, particularly in underserved communities, and wear the shirt, so that along the way people would say, oh great, I'm glad you're running for autism. These are my awesome running shoes I've been training in now for over four months and they carried me all the way up many, many hills on this Hollywood half from Hollywood to Silver Lake and back. We wore these purple t-shirts and along the, the course people stopped us and says, oh, you're running for autism. So we accomplished what we wanted to, which was to let people know that this is Autism Awareness Month and to make them aware that families all over the city are acknowledging that month and we're acknowledging it by being a part of this half marathon. You know, I wanted to start exercising and I thought, let me do it for a cause. My nephew is autistic and so my girlfriend told me about this organization and what she was doing. Doing, and I jumped right in. So we've been training twice a week. We've been training since January, twice a week, uh, and on Saturdays to prepare for this. It was the best experience. Uh, we were dedicated. I got to give it to my girls. I'm so proud of them for coming out and uh, supporting the cause and supporting each other and, and it's the best experience I've had. I am a parent of a special needs son, uh, he's an adult. We want to have fun with, while we get the support and, and uh, be able to get the word out and, and share with our community that Autism Moms, we rock. I ran today to support kids with autism and the alarming rates of 1 in 50 kids born today are born with autism. It's, it's huge just to raise awareness. I mean, although the numbers and the figures are out there, they're staggering, but not everyone is aware. So we want to, uh, you know, give a voice to our kids and our families. From a community perspective, Autism Awareness Month is so important because there's so many families that are in need of either, you know, nutritional factors, um, educational factors, just resources, just so that families can can maneuver and be uh, able to exist in, in society and culture. Because a lot of people have a, a very limited understanding of the autism spectrum, and in our group, we really focus on the underserved uh, families more in the South Central area, where access and um, education is pretty much limited. So we really want to get the word out. It's important that we know about autism, it's important that we know about everything regarding our human condition that is
is a natural phenomenon that makes us just slightly different so we can accept each other more. It's imperative that everyone, school teachers, medical professionals, uh, you know, lay people, everyone know someone, probably know someone that has autism. And we want them to know that Special Needs Network is, is on the, the ground, working every day in communities across this county, trying to provide services and access to families. We want families to know they're not alone. And that's what we did today uh, on this run. You know, we got folks all charged and got them fit while raising awareness.